Hello everyone, this is Mora, the Les Black Unicorn from CoinInfo News and today we are here with a very special guest, Todd, the founder of Rewards.com and Rewards Blockchain, the project that will redefine the loyalty industry by placing rewards directly into the hand of the consumer. Todd, what can you tell us about yourself? Hey, thanks for having us on. Yeah, we're really excited about our project here. Uh, I've been in the loyalty industry now for about 20 years. Uh, built a lot of the programs out for the banks and the airlines, companies like American Express, Bank of America, American Airlines, done work on both the earn and the redemption side, the system of records. And uh, you know, we're really excited about bringing rewards into the blockchain and the cryptocurrency market. I think it's gonna be absolutely revolutionary you know, for our industry. So, uh, do you want me to just go on? And, that's truly amazing, Todd. Thank you for telling us all about yourself. But how, how exactly did the Rewards Project start? Well, um, it started by, I bought the domain about uh, three or four years ago. And I kind of parked it for a while. I was working on some other projects. And we started looking at what kind of business model we were going to put on it. And we started down the path of doing a traditional points coalition model. And it was... Uh, Oh, I guess uh, early uh, spring last year, uh, I started looking, you know, took a deep dive into the blockchain technology and looking at the cryptocurrency market and what was going on with the altcoins. I'd been familiar with the market since uh, 2013. I started doing some Bitcoin mining. Uh, I have some uh, data centers that I had, you know, fixed power rates on. So a friend of mine talked me into putting some Bitcoin miners in there. And I always go by my ops department and ask them, I say, is there anything we can do with the loyalty industry with, you know, the, what we're, with the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency that we're mining? And uh, it wasn't until I went, up, went to a meetup group in the early part of 13 uh, or the, the early part of last year. And uh, a gentleman down at the end of the table, as I'm describing what we're getting ready to do with the points coalition program with rewards, he said, that's a really great idea for the blockchain and cryptocurrency market. And so I took the deep dive and we decided to pivot the business model. And here we are. We think that uh, rewards is a great, you know, on ramp to for people to understand the cryptocurrency market. You know, they can utilize the currency like they would a normal reward point. Uh, it's an easy entry point for them. Uh, they just do their normal shopping, their normal daily activities, and they earn crypto. This really is a different approach from other projects on the market right now. How about the vision behind the project? Well, so our, our project, um, you know, we feel is really one of uh, probably one of the most pure plays from a currency and blockchain technology standpoint. Uh, you know, by nature of the business model, we put liquidity into the market. So everything that we do with our merchant partners is fully funded, uh, just like it's been, you know, the past, you know, 20 years and all the different programs that we built. So when you go out to one of the merchant partners and, and you shop, they're funding that, you know, fully. Uh, and we take that funding and go out to the open market and buy our cryptocurrency back for your reward. And you know, that's how you, you get cryptocurrency in your hand. So the vision for our project in the first phase here is really about the currency and the ecosystem around rewards.com. And it's that you know, everyday shopping and everyday activity uh, where you earn your cryptocurrency, you can take it in our ecosystem, you can redeem it, you can learn more. Uh, if you're not familiar with the crypto market, market, you can learn more about cryptocurrency by taking it out to the exchanges and trading it for you know, your, your Bitcoin or Litecoin or your other favorite coins. Uh, then the second phase of our project is really about building our own blockchain protocol and taking what you would traditionally manage as a loyalty program uh, account management, uh, profile data, you know, all the consumer demographic data and moving that back to the blockchain and giving the control of all that information back to the consumers, but still allowing the marketers to, you know, have access to it, but not necessarily direct access to the consumer personal data. So you sure thought about every detail. So it's basically win-win for everybody. This is really good. Uh, please tell us more about the important milestones of your project. Well, our important milestones, you know, right now we're in our uh, private sale uh, phase. So we're, we're selling our tokens out in the market. So 
In part, that is to get tokens in the open market in, in distribution so that we have that uh, marketplace to buy our currency back from. Uh, as soon as we finish you know, through this sale phase and our main sale, um, we'll be you know, launching the program in a few weeks. We're, we don't have technology to build. Everything's already built. Uh, basically, we're just rebranding the, the current site that's up there, doing a little, some look and feel you know, updates to it, some user interface updates to it. Um, and once that launches, uh, we'll launch the U.S. first, uh, followed very quickly by uh, the U.K., and uh, then we have an 11 country rollout plan, which will extend about every four, will extend about four years. Um, we can do it a lot faster than a four year period, but what we're doing is each country that rolls out, it's, we're, we're planning about every two to three months rolling out a new country. And it gives us a little uh, marketing period and a ramp up period to promote the new country that's getting ready to launch. And then there'll be a, a short opportunity, uh, a couple, two, three day opportunity opportunity to buy some new currency as each country launches. So basically this also ensures the stability when it opens in each country. This is really good. Right. What, right. Let's so help our viewers our, understand better about what makes rewards so different from other projects. Well, I think what makes it um, substantially different right now is one, we're not having to build new technology. We're building on uh, what has currently existed and it's been proven in the marketplace over and over and how to build this type of programs. And these can be very large programs. Um, you know, some of them, you know, they can run in the two, $300 million a year range, uh, just for uh, one country, you know, program. Uh, when you start looking at it from a global perspective, the market is, is very, very large. So we're looking to, you know, make our mark and get our little piece of the, the market, uh, on that. And what makes us uh, different from the traditional side of the market is obviously we're leveraging the cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology from what is traditionally in the market. And what that does for the consumer is it gives them real value in their currency. And it also makes that currency fungible between programs. So every program that participates within our coalition, that currency is fully fungible between the programs, but the program can still maintain uh, brand identity. They can have their own white labeled version of their of the currency. It's just wherever I take my hotel currency and trade it in for my you know airline currency, it's you know mag it not magically, but it, it transforms to that currency because the root of it is still the rewards you know protocol and blockchain currency. So it uh, from a project perspective, we are I think one of the few projects that has a business model that is currently you know, built and currently operating that can put very substantial liquidity, you know, back into the marketplace. To have a business model like this is truly different from other projects that I've seen as well. How about the rewards token? So the rewards token, um, like I said, right now we're in our, our private sale uh, phase of it. The pre-sale is open to, you know, non-US, you know, residents uh, right now. So you can go in to rewardstoken.io and at the top of the menu is a, a token buy button. You can purchase tokens right now. Uh, I think that's gonna be open here another week or so. I think I think the eighth is whenever that's gonna close. Uh, and then at that point, we'll only take, uh, you know, private uh, sales. You'll have to you know, contact us directly um, for a, a private, a sale of tokens until we get to a main sale. Uh, but we're also trying really hard to close out here before we actually hit the main sale as well. And I think we have an opportunity to do that. Uh, the tokens themselves, uh, we have a uh, 400 million. Uh, so there's 1 billion tokens that are minted totally in total. There's 400 million that are in the uh, fundraising pool. There's 200 million that are uh, available between now and the end of the main sale. So at the time we go on to the market, uh, the most, uh, the most tokens before we burn any, uh, can be 230 million tokens. Um, you know, if we don't sell all the tokens, uh, the 200 million tokens, you know, we'll burn, uh, additional tokens. The extra 30 million comes from our bonus campaigns and bounty campaigns that, that are going out. Um, and likewise, if we don't use all those, we'll also burn those. Uh, additional tokens come in on the market. Yeah, you know, we'll come on the market as each country launches. 
Uh, there will be 20 million tokens that are available at the launch and the start of a new country. And part of the reason is we want to keep the uh, token uh, supply stable. Uh, so as we're bringing on a new country, we're bringing on a lot of new consumers uh, and new engagement into the program so we can put some more tokens out onto the market. This is really great. Uh, behind every good project is a solid team. How about your team? What can you tell us about them? Well, I told you a little bit about myself uh, being 20 years in the industry. Uh, Linda Butcher, uh, my partner in this, uh, she comes from a, a very strong M&A background. Uh, you know, she's been uh, in the partnership and relationship development for many years. Uh, she's been with me now for uh, about five, six years. Uh, she's developed a lot of our, our merchant partnerships and expanded a lot of our merchant partnerships that we have uh, over that period of time. Uh, we also just brought on a new advisor I'm very, very excited about. Uh, his name is uh, Major General James Williams. Uh, he's a two-star general, served under uh, two of our presidents, uh, directly under two of our presidents. Um, he has a great business background. Uh, he has been in, see, every country in the world except for, um, I want to say Iceland. Um, and he's negotiated with every culture and, and uh, you know, every, every country. Uh, and he's got a lot of business contacts. And he will be uh, instrumental as we start moving into countries that we haven't been in before. So we've already uh, been established and run programs in the U.S., uh, throughout the EU, EU uh, Australia, and Canada. So other countries that we want to move into, uh, you know, the Asian markets, you know, Japan, you know, we've been you know, looking at Dubai, um, you know, Pakistan, and a lot of countries that we haven't been in, in before. He'll be instrumental in helping us enter those countries. Well, so you've got everything settled. This is really good. How about the future plans? <coughs> uh, sorry. Um, well, the future plans, you know, for us is uh, really about getting that blockchain protocol uh, built. And I want to move as much of what we would traditionally manage in a loyalty and rewards program to that, you know, protocol where the programs can white label a currency, connect to the rewards protocol, um, and basically become a reporter to that protocol. So all the their responsibility is is to report transactions, uh, you know, to the protocol. So that the, the protocol then can really manage the accounts, do the awards, and we'll form a, you know, we'll create as we go along a lot of uh, great consumer tools uh, on that. Uh, uh, you know, wallets for managing your digital identities. Uh, you know, the uh, being able to exchange back and forth between currencies, and really focus on trying to uh, make the cryptocurrency market and the blockchain technology easy to understand for the average consumer. You know, we want to you know get it to where your grandma can you know understand what she's doing you know with the market. She can go out, she can shop, she can earn her cryptocurrency, she can have her you know cryptocurrency wallet. She can use that for you know when she goes out to lunch to pay for lunch, and you know if she wants to uh, trade or speculate on the the Bitcoin and Litecoin markets, she can go out and understand how to do that very easy. So a lot of this will focus around the wallet and the wallet technologies that we build. And then we'll be building a lot of uh, tools for the programs to be able to, you know, uh, understand the consumer data and how to you know, market properly to the consumers uh, while still protecting the consumer data and privacy. Thank you, Todd. Everyone, this was all for today about rewards.com and you can find out more about this on their website. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video. Thanks, guys.